Hello everyone. Today I'd like to go over how to download and install Maycad, as well as mess around with a couple of their modern dictionaries, and also show you how to change a system setting that will be the difference between gibberish and actual good Japanese text. So let us go to our browser and we're going to go and download Maycad. So open up whatever browser you have. Go to Google, type in Maycab, M-E-C-A-B, hit enter. It should be the first result that you get, the maycab.sourceforge.jp. Open that up, and about the fifth bullet down you'll see downloads, so click on that. What we want is the binary package for MS Windows. I'm operating on Vista here. I know 7 will work on that. So open that up, and you'll see the Maycab executable file here. So just click on that once and your download will start. So we want to open that up when it's fully downloaded. So we'll just wait a sec. Allow, of course. Now this is just like any other installer, pretty easy and simple, but there's one thing that we have to think about here, and we'll click next. The first thing you come upon is the dictionary character set. So what we want is shift JIS. Sure, a lot of people might think that you might want to go with UTF-8, because if you're familiar with using that with school email, so you can see Japanese text. But UTF-8 in this situation is only for people who are eventually going to be using it for Python and different code settings like that. So we want to stay with Shift JAS because this is a very simple introduction video. But when you do get into Python, I'll show you how you can go and easily change the dictionary. It's super simple. But for right now, let's stay with Shift JAS. So click next, accept. Looks all right. Looks all right, and install. Yes, we want to permit users and compile that dictionary. So click finish. We can exit out of our browser here. So look at our nice little new Makeab shortcut we have here on our desktop. Let's double click and open on that. So let's type in test and hit enter. See all this gibberish we're getting right now? That's just full to anyone. So what should be there is a few Japanese characters that should look familiar to you if you're Japanese or speak Japanese. So in order to change this, we're going to go into some system settings and change one thing, and then we're going to have to restart and come back and try this again. And it should be correct and ready to go. So let's do that right now. Let's exit out of Makeham. Go to our start button, control panel. It should be in clock language and region settings. I know this is Vista, your computer might be a little different, but it's basically the same. Regional and language options, and you'll get another window that pops up, and you'll want the very last tab that says administrative. So I'll click on that, and here it says change system locale. As you'll see, my current language for non-Unicode programs, like Makeab, is English. We'll want to change this to Japanese so we're not getting a bunch of gibberish. So we'll click on that, continue. We'll go down, find Japanese, there's only one. We'll click OK. And now it will tell us that we want to restart. So we'll restart our computer, and I'll be back in one second after it's done restarting and then we'll run a test again and see those nice characters that are all correct and should be there instead of gibberish. Alright, see you in a second. Alright, so here we are after our restart. Let's open up Makeham again and type in T-E-S-T, -E test, run that again. And now instead of gibberish we have all the Japanese characters that we want. Everything's looking good. So let's exit out of Makeab right now, and we're going to reopen it in Command Prompt. 
So get to your start button, go to run, type in CMD for command prompt, or you can find that in your programs or something like that. But now here it is open. So what we want to do is we want to open this makeab shortcut here that we have on our desktop. So let's reroute ourselves to our desktop. So type in CD space desktop, then hit enter. Now you'll see that we're in our desktop. So to open up makeab, super simple, type in ME, and then if you press tab, it will auto-complete what you're typing. So press tab there, and you have now makeab.link because that is a shortcut on your desktop. So now we have that open, press enter, and you'll see that it works because makehab.lnk is up here. So let's just run the test just to be safe. T-E-S-T, -E enter, good, everything's showing up the same. So a way to get back to your desktop is all you do is hit control C, that'll give us the uppercase C and take us, as you can see, back to desktop. So let's type in makehab, M-E tab, and now if you type in dash or space dash H, it will take us to the help file, which is a bunch of different codes of what to put into command prompt for doing a bunch of different things like insourcing and outsourcing files, checking out your dictionary, using fi files as resource files, things like that. So what we're going to want to do is, remember when we were installing it and we looked at the dictionaries and we chose shift JIS? We can check that and make sure that is the dictionary that we're using right now. So let's do that. So let's open up makehab again, me tab, and now we're going to do space dash capital D for dictionary. Then we're going to press enter. And see here is shift JIS. So that's what we want here. But if you are planning on using Python or something super fast and you want to use UTF-8, we can easily go and change that. So let me go and show you how to do that now. What you're going to want to do is recompile your dictionary. So click start, all programs, go to makehab, and then here, it's easy as can be, all you have to do is click Recompile UTF-8 Dictionary, and it will do it super fast. All you have to do is wait for it to download completely. Now we can check that it did that by once again go going to Command Prompt, hitting May tab, space, dash D, hit Enter, and now you can see it's UTF-8. So that's good if you want to use Python and stuff. But as for right now, I want to use Shift-JS. So I'm just going to go back, change it really quick again, start all programs, make hab, Shift-JS dictionary, compile then two seconds, and we'll be good to go. But of course, we'll check it just to make sure, because I'm always double check everything. So back in command prompt, make hab, space, dash D, Awesome, we're back in Shift JIS. Cool. All right, so now we're getting to the good stuff, what we actually want to do. We want to parse some Japanese text, some modern text right now anyway. We'll get into classical maybe in another episode. So what I have here is I have this text file over here on my desktop. Use Notepad for this regular Notepad. You could use Notepad++. You'll probably want to use Notepad++ anyway, but I just have this in a regular text doc. So let's open this up just to see. I took some stuff from the internet about clouds. It, I guess I wanted to do something about clouds here. So let's put some spaces into this using makehab from command prompt. So let's X out of here. It's still here on our desktop. So what we want to do is once again open up makehab, ME, and press tab. So what we want to do is we'll space and then we'll type in CL tab. So there's our clouds.txt. So what we'll want to do is do space hyphen capital O for inputting files here. And now what we're going to want to do is type Wakachi, which is the parsing part of makehab. 
W-A-K-A-T-I. Now we're going to do space hyphen little o. So it will dump us into a new text file. So right now I guess we'll do just clouds again, C-L-O-U-D-S. This is just renaming it and then we'll do underscore spaced or whatever you want, dot txt. So doing this, we'll take this text file and it will create another one that will be all parsed for us. So let's click enter and see what happens. Ta-da! Here we have clouds spaced or parsed. Now let's open this up and here everything is parsed all nice with modern text. So now that's everything that we want. Another thing that's really cool about Maycab is that if you go into it, bring everything up again, we'll use clouds again. We can actually do Chasen, which is a POS type thing, parts of speech. It will show every single word in your text document and it will show and tell you whether it's a noun or a verb or a particle of speech, which is also really cool if you want to do something like that. So same thing, except we'll change Wokachi to Chasen. Output. And we'll name this clouds pos dot txt. Now we'll hit enter and see what happens. So on another one showed up. So here's all your different words and things like that. It shows you whether it's a noun, and it will show you the pronunciation, the kanji for it if it has some, which is pretty cool. So I think that's all I have for you today. Hopefully you liked it. We're going to be going over how to put in classical dictionaries, which is a little more challenging, but we'll figure it out. So hopefully this helped you, and if you have any questions, let me know. Okay, thank you.